Thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. Today, we're gonna to follow up our production management session on completion transactions with closed transactions. Let's take a look at our agenda. First thing we're gonna talk about are the missing cost report and the on-demand variance from standards report. We'll take a look at the closed entry. We'll talk about what happens to work in progress, work ticket history, and posting to closed work tickets. Let's go ahead and go into Sage 100. Here we are in Sage 100. We're gonna talk about closing a work ticket. So after everything has been done for the work ticket, it's a good idea to close it. Depending on your setup options, closing the work ticket prohibits any future posting to the work ticket. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But really what it does is take any unused work in process that are still sitting on the work ticket and moves it out of work in progress. So let's take a look at the reports that we are going to print. So on the reports menu, there's on-demand missing cost and on-demand variance from standards. Just like before you complete a work ticket, I recommend that you print these reports before you close a work ticket. Both reports will have an option to select minimum variance percent. And let's just take a look at it for this one work ticket that we're going to close. So as you can see here, as we preview this report, we have quite a few variances on this work ticket. The reality is we've only completed half of the items that we intended. We've only posted about half of the cost, but I wanted to illustrate that you should look at this information and make sure that everything's posted to the work ticket before you close it. Same thing on the on-demand variance from standards report. And that also has a 10% minimum variance level. And we'll choose that work ticket as well. And you see the same kind of information. So let's take a look at our close entry. The major thing that happens when you close a work ticket is any leftover work in progress that's sitting on that work ticket gets moved to the variance account. So let's take a look at that. So let's go ahead and go into work ticket transaction entry. And I'm going to create a batch and accept that. Create a transaction. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the completion entry for just a moment. Notice that when you're doing a completion entry, you can also close the work ticket at the same time that you're doing the completion. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Now we'll create our close transaction and we'll select our work ticket that we're going to close. And notice that you can also do completion while you're closing. So regardless of whether you're doing a completion, you can also close, or if you're doing a close, you could also complete. I'm going to go ahead and not complete the rest of this work ticket. We'll just go ahead and close it. So I'm gonna leave the quantity at zero here. We'll accept that, take the shortcut to print this register and proceed and print. So you can see here that we have zero complete, but we have $31,000 in work in progress. Let's go ahead and update that. We won't print these reports here, and we'll go ahead and print the daily transaction register. And the reason I don't print the reports there, this is after it's been closed. I'd rather look at this information and be aware of those variances prior to the work ticket being closed. And we'll print the daily transaction register. And as you can see, it's crediting my work in progress and it's debiting my manufacturing adjustment account. This account is defined in work ticket class maintenance. So you specify this general ledger account over there. I'll we'll go ahead and update that. Next, we're gonna talk about work ticket history. So once the work ticket has been closed, it moves into a status of closed and it moves to history. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's take a look at work ticket entry first. And you can see here that work ticket is no longer on our list. It is, however, in inquiries. If we go to work ticket inquiry, and we'll do a look up here, you will see that it is on the list here and the status is closed. 
There's also a separate report for work tickets in history. It's called the History Work Ticket Report. So you can get back and see the information about the work ticket, all the operations and costs and all those kinds of things once the work ticket has been moved to history. And there it is. Lastly, we're going to talk about posting to closed work tickets. Now, posting to a work ticket after it's been closed is an option in work ticket class maintenance. So you can either allow work tickets that have been closed to have postings made against them, or you can designate that they won't, whatever you prefer. Understand that the work ticket is done after it's been closed. So anything that you post to it, if you allow it afterwards, is not going to go to work in process. In fact, it's gonna go directly to the variance account, but it is gonna update the history on that work ticket. So that in the future, when you look at the total costs associated with that work ticket, it would include those costs that were posted to the work ticket after it was closed. To illustrate this in Sage 100, we're gonna to go to accounts payable and we're gonna enter an invoice. So I'll just go to invoice data entry select vendor, make up an invoice number, enter an amount, go to the lines, and over here under work ticket, we can select the work ticket that has been closed and the step accordingly. And notice the GL account number here is the same account that got posted to when everything moved out of work in progress. So it is the manufacturing adjustment account. So that's the account that's gonna get debited here instead of the expense account or instead of work in progress. So if we were to update this invoice, that's the posting that's going to occur, and that $100 is gonna be added on to the cost of that work ticket just for future information. In review, we talked about the on-demand missing cost report and the on-demand variance from standards report. We recommend that you print these reports prior to closing the work ticket. You will see that you will be prompted for it after you close the work tickets, but it's better to know this information before you close. Make sure that all of the costs associated with the work ticket that you want on the work ticket have been posted. When you close the work ticket, the dollars that are sitting in work in progress for that work ticket gets moved to the work ticket variance account. The work ticket itself gets moved to work ticket history and you can post to closed work tickets after they have been closed if you set it up to do so in work ticket class maintenance. You can contact us via the YouTube channel. We're on LinkedIn. Our website is www.nimsassociates.com and you can send an email to erp at nimsassociates.com or call us directly at 877-454-3200 extension 6346. Thank you very much for your time today. We really appreciate it.